14 dog adventures run boy run everything you need is here under the sun everything you need is here under the sun that is some beautiful dogs before hitting the field we sat down with founder of wounded warriors in action john mcdaniel he told us a little bit more about the organization and the mission that they strive for. You know, all our heroes are, are those that have earned the Purple Heart for having been wounded in combat. And we just take them hunting and fishing. It's a vehicle for us to, to, help, to help them heal in, in many ways. Our name, Wounded Warriors in Action, that in action part, is because the Purple Heart citation says for wounds received in action. But those are just mostly the, a lot of visible wounds. There are wounds you know, that are not visible, obviously, with the post-traumatic stress syndrome and, and some of the, the baggage that they're carrying around with them. But this, this kind of an event here provides us a perfect opportunity to, to help peel back some of that and, and to have them talk about their experiences, and they always do. It always amazes me how powerful the outdoors can be in helping people escape the trials and tribulations of everyday life. It didn't take long having these heroes out in the field until they started to share their experiences with me. I shot. On uh, May 24th, 2004, we took 26 mortars on our little fob, fob cow sioux. And as we, as we, the first two hit, we actually thought they were outgoing. Third one hit, we realized that they were dialed in and they were walking them right down our little road. At that time, we were fresh in Iraq, so our first instinct was to get into our shelter, get our weapons, and you know we didn't know if we were getting overran or anything like that. So on my way to the tent, 15 feet away from me, a mortar hit. And got sprayed by shrapnel, got sent flying through the air about 10 to 15 feet, my buddy said. Fell back, hit my, hit my head, got knocked unconscious, tore disc in my lower back. Next thing I know, I'm waking up and mortar's still raining down. It's about it for my Purple Heart. So. I think that's a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your service. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm just glad that I can, you know, although gingerly walk, but I can still walk. We're locked up here. Come on up, Ryan. I want to see you knock this one out of the sky. Yeah, hopefully they flush it. Look at them all. You're welcome. Good shot. Wow, we hit that one, boys. That's all you need. Yeah, well, I wanted to get both of them. But... Nice, man. What happened was an uh, IED went off just to the left and to the rear of my vehicle. And uh, it was all downhill from there. I mean, it just. I was out a little bit and I woke up and I was like, what the hell happened? And I had 10 shoulder surgeries on the right shoulder, one on the left, uh, numerous procedures to my back and my neck and all this stuff. But, you know, it could always be worse. And I just look at it as, you know, a second chance and make the most of it and, you know, be thankful that I'm still alive because any day above ground is better than a day above below ground. And that's why this group's so important. So if you guys can get a chance, check out Wounded Warriors in Action. They take these guys out. They give them this opportunity to go on hunts of a lifetime. They need your support. Stay tuned for more High Flying Adventures after this. If you'd like this video, check out our channel and subscribe to youtube.com forward slash sporting dog adventures TV.